Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to this Weapon XP episode where I want to go over the best places that I found to work on your Weapon XP. These are places that you can find pretty easily throughout the game. I got kind of one early on, I got one in the mid game, and then I got one that's going to be kind of towards your end game or once you're like a 55 or above. I want to go over these because no matter where you are in the game, there are places that you can up your Weapon XP. So if you'd like to watch that, stick around. Also, I'm going to be giving away a few Amazon gift cards on December 1st. So if you'd like to enter, just like this video, subscribe to the channel. And every time you post a comment in the comment section, your name will be entered into the giveaway. Another way to enter this will be to follow and retweet my post pinned at the top of my Twitter. Without further ado, let's get the video started. So I'm going to kind of go over three levels of where you're going to get your weapon XP. I'm currently a 60, so this weapon XP is a little off because like early on in the game, you're going to get a little more XP in the lower levels than you will at the end levels. So just kind of going over that, I wanted to show you guys what is going on. So the first place is kind of when you first get into the game and you're like a level 10 or below or even a little bit higher level 15 level 20 you can go here as well but it is out of Windsward. you're going to run along this road and you're going to end up coming up to a group of boars and this is going to be where you get your weapon xp uh currently they're like level twos level threes level fours that type of range so not too hard to kill especially early on if you're like a level 1 through 20 this is about where you want to be because like the next location I'm going to tell you is going to be around like level 40 so this is the best place to go and the reason this is the best place to go as you look at here and you're just going to come around this little part and back around and reloop it is because the boars are going to be spawning so quickly there's also a main boar here that you can kill and get some stuff off as well at a level five. This will definitely be a little higher XP with your with your weapon. So just use whatever weapon you want. You can use a weapon that's good against boards. You can use a weapon that's not. You should be able to level this up because the boards aren't too high levels. And you're also going to get other stuff here as well. There's a ton of harvesting materials here. You're going to get hemp. You're going to get high sop. You're going to get that stuff off of those uh, harvesting tools and so this is a good place to kind of just do that and to do it without worrying about really dying I know I'm a level 60 I know these guys are level 3 so I'm not worrying about dying but even at like a level 10 level 15 you're gonna have time in order to take these boars out uh, one at a time which I also like because they're kind of grouped in a way where you're never gonna have to fight like two or three boars at the same time it's mostly just one at a time you go on to the next one kill them go on to the next one kill them and what I do is just do this until your inventory is full with hide and trust me it gets very very full with hide so I would suggest just doing this and doing it over and over and over again until you're basically full in your bag and then it's time to go back and kind of replenish or drop off your hide if you want to use it uh, be a good place to sell hide and, and when I go over my hide video in a little while um, I'll have a hide video out and I'm going to kind of tell you the same thing is this is a very easy way of getting hide and you can run this in about three or four minutes each loop I believe the boars spawn every three to five minutes in this area so it's easy to just loop around the area once you get back to the beginning you will have new boars and you can just seriously continue to do this for 10 15 minutes however long you need to do it to get your hide up if this is a hide place or your weapon XP which it gives like a small amount of weapon XP right now because I'm a higher level but you'll get more than five on your weapon XP here if you're coming down here and you're like a level 20 or below so as you can see here we are to the beginning where we started what you want to do is you want to just take this loop all the way around and come back around and then just a, a circle the whole time so the next place to go is when you're at about a level 40 there's going to be a place here that you are going to want to hit up and this is a great spot for thick hide these guys are like level 44 is 46 or something like that and it's going to be called the boards home and there's just constant respawns of boars now 
This is at a level higher than 40, so you will be getting thick hide. So if you're looking for raw hide, not the place to do it. But this is the place to get your weapon XP up. Even at a level 60, I'm gaining a ton of XP. About 53 XP from hatchets. And honestly, best place to go because they spawn so quickly. My suggestion would be is to either go with a healer or have a light staff with you so that you can kind of heal yourself as you go because you will need heals you're not going to go through this invincible even at a 60 i need heals but these guys are level 45s you're going to get a ton of xp uh for your for your weapon whatever you decide to use i was using a hatchet trying to level that up I was getting kind of these neutral uh white color so that means that i'm getting neutral damage which is fine my suggestion if you're getting a, a weapon up that is blue against boars you might want to make sure that you have tons of heals with you because they're they are a little tough to kill they're not easy to kill the the reason this is such a good spot is because there's so many of them and they spawn so quickly literally you can go into the middle and fight seven or eight at a time by the time you get done skinning like three or four, there's already four or five coming at you again. So definitely go through this. Uh, I would stick to the outsides if you're wanting to get wet weapon XP and you're kind of a lower level. I also would try to stay away from Tusk Boar. He's just, he's not really hard to kill. It's just the fact that once you start attacking him, the other boars will start attacking you as well. And as you can see, they can kind of group up and it gets a ton at a time. Again, take heals with you or if you have a life staff, Go ahead and throw down a couple spells, stand in it, keep your HP high, and you should be able to clear this out in no time. And again, this is another place that you can get really, really good hide if you want thick hide, whether it be for layered leather or whatever you're trying to do, a great place for thick hide and a great place for some drops as well. Uh, make sure that you're farming these as you go. They will eventually disappear. And as you can see, a healer showed up at the perfect time. And basically, I did this until I had about 1,700 in my duffel bag. So I was already encumbered and still going at it before I basically just called it quits. Because with a healer in here, you can basically go until you're just so encumbered you can't move. So my suggestion at a mid-level, if you're wanting to raise that weapon XP, it also works at a high level. I'm a 60. I'm still getting some pretty good weapon XP off of this. Every kill is about uh, 57, 60 with my hatchet uh, again just do this over and over again you will get plenty of weapon xp uh, at the mid level if you're above i would say a 40 or above you're safe to go in here if you're below a 40 i would definitely take some people with you because it will not be easy enough for you to kind of do this because they do gang up together there's a ton of guys that are a ton of boys that come out at once so make sure you're with someone if you're below a level 40 but if you're above a level 40 go ahead and hit the spot up i showed you on the map i'll show you again and definitely hit the spot up because this is a ton of weapon xp that even at a level 60 you can get and help you grow so the last place we're going to go is up north and as you know in these spots they're pretty high level Guys, you're going to be facing guys that are level 60s, level 50s, all that good stuff. And what I found is this is the best place to go to fight things that you can easily defeat, that you can easily kill one at a time, and still get some really good weapon XP off of it. And that is the Wildwood uh, Wolves here. And you're going to kill them, and you're actually going to, going to hatchet them. Normally you skin the animals, but these are elemental... Uh, wolves or whatever and they actually are made of wide wood so you're actually going to hatchet them down and get some wide wood which is honestly the easiest and fastest way to get wide wood is to get it from these guys once you kill them the dryad wolves you're going to be able to harvest them with your hatchet and boom you see the wide wood you see the locking experience going through the roof 800 just for that wolf you know if you if you hatchet trees down and when you're a higher level you know that you get like, seems like five at a time, even though I know it's more, but you, it's, you struggle with it and it's an easy place to get some lumber jacking experience there. And what I learned from this, and I wanted to kind of keep this in here to show you, you cannot stand on this wall. They will all run away from you and you will not be able to get to be able to kill them because by the time you get them out down halfway, they're going to run back to where they're supposed to spawn. So what I ended up doing is I found an easy way of doing this and an easy way of killing them. 
I, I first wanted to start doing it with the live staff just to make sure I'm alive. And then I kind of worked in the other elements as well. I used my hatchet, the hatchet where it's amazing because you're getting critical hits that are really high. You're also getting uh, very good attacks against uh, the, the dried wolves and you'll be getting some easy XP from them. At 60, I was getting about 69 or above on the XP weapon skill. So a little higher than what I showed you for the mid game, but you do have to do a little more work to try to kill these guys. There's also less of them. So this is probably actually the sec or second best uh, place to get XP. If you're wanting to get weapon XP, the, 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 the boars is where to go. But if you're wanting to get some higher level XP here, if you're wanting to get some good fights in, if you're wanting to get some better loot and stuff drops from those guys, the wired wolves, um, they're the dryad wolves are the best place to go for the drops and for if you're needing some extra leveling up for the lumberjack stuff, the the woodworking stuff. This is a great place to go and get that uh, passive skill up and still get some wired wood to be able to upgrade as well. So in all of these, I'm basically just showing you places you can get easy kills, easy fast kills, a bunch of XP for your weapons but all of these are based on usually the spawn so if you find a place that you feel like there's a ton of animals or or bad guys whatever you want to call them if they're spawning there and you feel like you could kind of take advantage of them spawning quickly and get a ton of xp for your weapons then go ahead and take it advantage of that what i've noticed is like the first 10-ish levels of leveling up a weapon seem to go pretty quickly it seems like you get up to about a weapon level 10 and then it takes forever and I know with my light staff level 18 to level 20 seemed to take days to get up even though I was using it full time. So weapon XP is definitely something that you need to look into about mid game if you're really wanting to level up a certain weapon or if you're me and I want to level up kind of just every weapon I want to be able to use every weapon whenever I want to use it. These are great places to go. If you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you give it a big thumbs up also feel free to comment down below let me know some other places where you found a great place to kind of get weapon xp or be able to farm animals and get that xp as well also feel free to hit the red subscribe button because we'll be coming out with a ton more new world content very soon till next time slacker out